the underlying current, when people write about you, yeah. is who the f is this guy? Yeah. I mean, you get that, right? Of course. Who the f are you? This is a word that is rarely talked about in our space that I want to start building more attention for. Self-awareness. I want to deliver on this message so much. I would create a test or, or a drug that allowed people to become self-aware. One potion inject, not hustle, not smart, self-awareness. I don't fear being self-aware. I know I suck at a lot of stuff. I think everybody lies to themselves. Some people are meant to be B and C players and I'm pissed that the narrative now is that you need to be a number one and have your company because a lot of people are gonna lose or leave money on the table because th that's just the narrative. I'm such a positive guy. I'm, I struggle to think about the things I'm bad at but you know, self-awareness requires understanding both and then choosing which path you wanna go through. I'm a big fan of going all in on your strengths and don't give a fuck about what you suck at. Self-awareness isn't only just betting on your strengths, it's accepting all your shortcomings. Let me tell you one thing. What works for me does not necessarily work for you. I think being at peace with yourself and your skill set is such an important part of this. Too many people try to be like me because it's sizzly and it's sexy and people want to be charismatic and on stage. So many of you do so many things better than I do. You can look at like how people roll and like it's great to admire and things of that nature but it's so damn important to stick to like your DNA. Try to get to a place where you understand yourself and understand what your strengths are. You've got to find your self-awareness. All your shortcomings are there for a reason. They're there to also allow you to be great. Deep in your brain, deep in your heart, you actually accept all those shortcomings is the second your life goes on the offense. I worry that people don't tap into their strengths. You have to audit who you actually are because then you're not going to bullshit yourself. You're going to story tell yourself, you're going to motivate yourself, but you're not gonna bullshit yourself. And once you believe that, either for yourself or someone else told you, go directly, all chips, all into that. But we've all got something, and you just need to accept what's yours and go in on that. Then you've got a starting point to success. And so self-awareness at its finest is accepting your shortcomings and accentuating your strengths. Who the f are you? I'm an entrepreneur.